Oh my goodness. So I just got myself some Hong Kong dollars and I am gonna go out into the city. They've got a train that will take you into the city and that's that's what I wanna do. This is so cool. Next clip. I am lost in a foreign country and I'm okay with it. I mean, I'm not totally lost. I generally know where I am. So there's a landmark over there. It's a, uh, can you see it on camera? There's a, uh, I don't know what you call it. Um, like a Ferris wheel over there. I know that's a big landmark here. But that's about all I know. <laughs> this is amazing, I love this. Uh, so, <clears throat> what you missed is I took the, I took the, I think they call it the MRT or something along those lines, MLT, something like that, uh, which is their, um, their uh, rail system. And I got off in Hong Kong and it drops you off basically at, at the bottom floor, like basement of a mall. So then I went through the mall and I'm like, oh my goodness, found a, a uh, really cool like grocery store concept. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what this is, but this guy's got talent. That's awesome. All right, well, I'm gonna let you go because I have to figure out where I am. Oh wait, I think maybe now you can see that's the uh, Ferris wheel I was talking about. Uh, so cool. I am so lost. Next clip. Some of the stories that go with this artwork is amazing. I mean, and not necessarily in an amazing good way, but not necessarily in an amazing bad way either. Some of them are very uplifting. Others, like this one, not so much. This is a statue of two comfort women by the, the Japanese army and their invasion of Asian countries. And, and then there's a donation box. And the stories, they, they just keep going. And the more I read them, the more, the more I'm glad I took this trip. If only just to get a view of the world outside of my own. Whoa, a Watson's outside of the Philippines? I did not know that that was an international brand. Same logo and everything. Cool. I am sitting in a McDonald's here in Hong Kong, and I have to say, normally I'm the kind of person who picks on people for uh, going to a foreign country and eating something they can get at home, which makes me sort of a double offender there, because I can get this at home in Eastwood and at home in the States. Except, since I got here to Hong Kong a few hours ago, I, uh... I've been kind of suffering from, like, um, I'm, I've made so many decisions since I got here. I don't want to make any more decisions. And this seemed like the easiest possible thing. McDonald's gets a lot of crap for having bad food or uninspired food. There is something to be said, and I have to give it to McDonald's for um, consistently providing the same, like, level of quality, flavor, texture, etc., regardless of where you are in the world. Like if I order a double cheeseburger, no pickle, no onion, here in Hong Kong, which I just did, in Eastwood, which is in Manila, Philippines, or in uh, Greenville, South Carolina, I'm getting the same thing. That's not exactly the insight I wanted to uh, take away from this trip, but I guess insight is insight. Also here in Hong Kong, the McDonald's are crazy fast. I had my food in like 45 seconds, no joke. So I have been sitting here for a while trying to make sense out of this. I'm so perplexed as to what this is and what this means. There seem to be very well-dressed people sitting on cardboard boxes eating. Sometimes they have large amounts of like uh, personal effects and things like that. I don't know if they're travelers. I don't know if they're just here for the day, meeting up with friends a lot of times it seems. Some of them are sleeping. I don't know. And there's a guy over there selling boxes. 
it confuses me. I know it seems like a small thing, but to me, it just, it seems like a puzzle I can't solve. Just thought I would share. Another thing I gotta give Asia in general is the fact that there are always, or not always, but I see it a lot more often than I do in the States and in Canada, just random modern art, um, or sometimes not so random modern art. And like, that's not something that I see in the States. And like, I, at first I thought it was odd, but I've come to love it. Anyway. Next clip. Here's another example of that modern art we were talking about. This is what looks like on first glance just a like a sculpture of two dudes fighting, but it's actually called Above the Clouds. And uh, it's got a whole backstory down here. And that is the gulp. And there's also sculptures. It just never stops. Everything, even the buildings seem like modern art installations. That's amazing! Wow! That is so cool! Oh wait, there's a fountain over there with some modern art in the middle of it. It never stopped! There's a bridge right there that is essentially modern art. So cool! Alright, next clip. My time here in Hong Kong is coming to a close. And uh, I... Oh my goodness. There's so much that I wish I could have done. There's so much more I really wanted to do. There's a Disney here. I don't know if it's a Disneyland or a Disney World, but there is a Disney here. And I would have killed to be able to do that. But oh my God, I just, there are only so many hours that I'm able to be here. And it's just, uh, but I've had such a great time. I've learned so much. I've seen so much. There's so much that I really couldn't show you because of reasons and oh man. I don't know. I know I've only seen a teeny tiny fraction of what Hong Kong has to offer, but I hope that one day I'll be able to see the rest. Just from what I see, this place is growing so fast. I don't know how to explain this other than to say that in my mind before I came here, I held two preconceived notions and they sort of conflict. One, Hong Kong is a very uh, developed area, very modern. Two, Hong Kong is not very developed and not very modern. And it's sort of stuck in, you know, a, a previous time. And I don't know how I could have possibly held those two conflicting beliefs. And after being here, one of those two went away. Can you guess which one? Well, that's my day in Hong Kong, and that is an old school airplane. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let us know in the comment section down below. Until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make me love my job. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you'd like to watch more content, that's on screen now. Also, if you'd like to support this channel, you can find a Patreon link at the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Next vlog?